we're back at Solomon's Corner, just hitting the streets like we do, talking to um, you know people. All of us are God's children, just about some things about church experiences. What if they had a choice? How would they have church set up? If uh, if you had a choice of how you want a church to be, you know, like, cause you know, churches sort of got that shifted now. It's more like corporate America in some cases. Like, what's your ideal church outlook? Yeah, like if, if if you had a choice of how do you go to church now? Okay, why don't you go to church? Yeah, like you said, it's too corporate. Too corporate. So if you had like you know a choice to change it, what would you change first about the church, corporate church today? I would take it back to the old days where basically the church was about the community and it was more like a family. Like your grandma grew up in the church, your parents grew up in the church, and you grew up in the same church and so forth and so forth. It's not like that anymore. And that's, 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 that's the truth, man. It, it, it is, it is, it's got so corporate, you know, that you're missing Jesus. It's more about who can. Yeah, I feel you. Cause that's where that's where we're in right now. Like you know, going through the change of churches myself. So, um, but you still read your Bible, believe in God, and pray. I don't read the Bible. I believe in God. What keeps you from reading the Bible? As long as that's what we're talking about. That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, thanks, my brother, man. That's that's pretty much, you know, just what all we're doing, just getting people's opinions of outlooks. Because what the church, to me, is how Jesus was. He brought the church to the people. And he went around encouraging people and loving people. And it kept it consistent. He never, you know, changed his way. No matter who was giving him heat, no matter what, he kept it consistent. And that's what I'm, you know, aspired to do from the Lord telling me is to hit the street and bring it to the people. You know, because for one, you know, it's a sad thing that God's house has become that place where, you know, you don't have faith in it anymore because of the the undertone of the church. You know, with all the corporate, you know, the the who can get the most members, you know, without without the truth saving. Because before it was just truth saving. You just preach the truth and I cared about people getting delivered and set free. Now it's more like, you know, it's not the same. And and it, and I think I believe it's our duty if you see something, see something wrong to change it. Don't you agree? You know, because if you see somebody selling drugs to your daughter or your son, you're like, oh no, bro, ain't doing that to my kid. You know, you'll, you'll take up that initiative to stop it because it does what damage. You know, I believe that if you see like if there's a, a sore or cut, you don't let it air breathe. You clean it, put a cream on it, bandage it up, and hit it, nip it in the butt immediately. You don't wait around for it to get bigger and bigger and get infected. Once it get infected, it could be amputated. So, well, that's what's up, my brother. God bless you. I'm Aaron. Ray? Ray, nice to meet you, Ray. You can go on, you can go on YouTube and check yourself out. Solomon's Corner. I'll be posting on Solomon's Corner. I do, you know, different kind of wisdom nuggets, you know. This is my first, this is my first street segment, though. God bless you, Ray. All right, man.